him back onto the stage. It is hard to do, from my understanding. I think it might be like frame perfect, uh, but it's incredibly strong. And that's disgusting too, because that move hits you if you are shielding. Yeah. It so like, if, shield. if, if you're sitting there in shield, respecting die. a get up attack option, he can just get up attack and kill you anyway. Yep. Fascinating. You just die. <laughs> How is this a bottom tier character? <laughs> I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Yeah, fair enough. All right, grand finals. We got ZD coming in from the loser side. This is this is a grand finals we're we're pretty familiar with. Team, yeah. We've seen some interesting uh, combinations of players in the last few rounds, but this is a little more what we're used to here. Yeah, the grand finals is some mix of ZD, Peanut, Pink, Fresh, and Dexter. It's those four that are like, oh my god, that are just all. Oh. Well, I think Dexter's playing Xenoblade Chronicles 3, though, so... Yeah, the, <laughs> the offstage struggle in this matchup is real. Yeah, no kidding. Like, the Ram Ram's such a good two-frame option. This is another one where I'm like, it, this must be like a, a Wolf Knight for Z. This must be like, a, I'm working yeah. my Wolf tonight, because I feel like if you oh were purely... God. No jump. That caught the jump. He's dead. Because I feel like if you were purely interested in winning from this position, like, it would have to be the Fox. I don't know though, like, I feel like Fox definitely struggles to break the zone that um, Min Min sets up in this matchup though. Yeah, but like, Wolf doesn't? Wolf has better kill power, more reliable kill power, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. You know, Maybe that, that up smash also for, against a character that likes to jump on your shield, that up smash can be kind of terrifying. Yeah. I, I'll say that, that's a good point. Also, uh, Wolf is heavier than Fox by a pretty significant margin. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. You can, platform. Get, you can get stray hit kills with uh, Wolf at lower percents than you can with uh, Fox. And that may just be what you need in this matchup. Yeah, because like Fox, you kind of have to combo into the up smash or the back air. Uh, like the stray hits are pretty difficult until like pretty high percent. And you know, the deviousness of Min Min in general is just hitting me. This oh. character's been out for a while, but I'm just now like understanding that this is a this is a zoner that you cannot reflect through. Yep. That kind, of, that kind of upsets me. And has a reflector of her own, so you yeah. can't outzone her either. That's dead. <laughs> Min Min is nuts. I like I. Whenever they nerfed her neutral air and some other stuff, and people were like, "Oh, this character's bad," I was like, "What? No. No. What's really wrong no. with you?" No. <laughs> the character can still kill you at like nothing off of a back throw. <laughs> like. Yeah. Back throw, double forward air. You're just dead. It, that ram ram. That ram ram setup. That ZD just died too. Yeah. Right? We call it a two frame. No, that was not. Right? But it, it really wasn't. Yeah, that, that one just interrupted his recovery. It goes so far out. It's like a 20 or 30 frame at that point. Like, there's just, there's so much space there. You know? Two, yeah. Like, one, go. incredible. I'm good. There, there go. it is, the fox. <laughs> I mean, you were right that it was going to come out. I thought he was dead. I, uh, I, there was a moment. You heard me go completely silent, and it was because I was just genuinely dumped out of the we fact were, that I thought he was dead. We were preemptively grieving that stock. <laughs> yeah. We, I was, we were mashing grieve out of shield. Ooh. Like, oh, no, but it's still gone. Wow, Pinkfresh so good off stage. I, like, when I saw the first tech from ZD, I was like, all right, ZD, like, has the wherewithal to tech those, but then Pinkfresh just threw out another aerial. You don't see Min Min edge guard so much, so that was actually pretty rare to see. Especially in a way where you send them underneath the stage. Yeah. You don't see a lot of characters do that, period, but True. Min Min especially. Look at Pinkfresh just flying around like this is a character that can do that, though. I mean... <laughs> I've seen Pinkfresh do things that, to, in my mind, I'm like, that's questionable. Oh, nice. Oof. Nice combo there. In my mind, are questionable, right? Like, why would you do that as Min Min? But he does them to fantastic degree, like to great success. And I, like, I just have to respect it, right? Like, there's a reason he does those things. It's because he knows that he can get it. Yeah. And as I've said many times on this commentary before, and I will, I will say again at every opportunity. Sometimes Smash Brothers is a game of just trying to like out stupid your opponent. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you have to go for something so caveman. The CD just went a little caveman there, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, really, just straight really angle when he was lower than you the know ledge. What? You know what? He beat that hitbox. True, he, he did beat get that a hit. hitbox. It's about, it's about sending a message. Yes. <laughs> the message is, I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> but it is. Sometimes sometimes this game is about just pulling something so wacky. Yeah. That, no, uh, they're not ready for it. Maybe. You know? If you don't know what your next move is, how can your opponent? <laughs> right. Right. 
game so 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 little gives you a chance to react to an into a, to a, a novel situation. You don't have a whole lot of time to react to novel situations, Smash Brothers. Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it's full of them. The game is full of them. So many, so many novelty situations. So many things things that happen like once every hundred games. That's why I feel like traditional fighters. Like what makes a good traditional fighter player is like. All right. Oh, God. <laughs> Next to a traditional fire player is like mechanical execution, like you know how, how consistent they can be. Uh, you know their game plan, that yeah. kind of thing. And Smash Brothers, like honestly, it's, intu it's intuition and yeah, adaptation. Absolutely. Those are your those are your two majors. You I, need those. I could not agree more with you. That is like that's why I love this game as much as I do because it's just as much a mental game as it is an execution. Game. Wow. Got the fall, the yeah. fall stall, and then still able to recover. I didn't. I, 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 for some reason, I had in my mind that Min Min's didn't end, that you just kept going. Yeah. So I guess I was I wrong. Was, <laughs> I was thinking the same thing, honestly. Oh, oh man. man. Okay, so the fox? Actually, yeah, hey, the fox working out, you know? Maybe it was a bit of catching pink fresh off guard, but I would have expected his fox to be fox to be a little rusty considering he's been playing wolf all night. But I guess not. Yeah, but I mean, fox is like second nature for ZD. I, I feel like when you play a character like Fox to begin with, that character has to be second nature. You know what I mean? Absolutely, like, because yeah. the character it's just so execution heavy, and you were punished so hard for mistakes he's to a, begin with. He's a hard character. Like. Yes. Like people like are like, oh, haha! Look, he's mashing. He's hitting all these buttons. Every single one of those buttons is calculated. <laughs> yes. Every one of those buttons has meaning. And uh, except for when he did the straight angle death, <laughs> that the meaning of that was I dead. <laughs> I, you know, I I like to think there may have, there was a greater there was a greater plan there. There's something some kind of value in the psychological warfare of the match. Won the game. So. Yeah. <laughs> So you might be onto something. Ooh, okay, the down air into the forward air. And then one more hit off of the uh, up air as well. Just racking up whatever percentage you can, bit by bit. Ooh, okay. So, oh, my that God. megawatt is so strong. That megawatt in air too, it feels so slow. But in actuality, that first hitbox in that one corner comes out very fast. Absolutely, if, yeah. If you're in that, very, that one position, you do not get to react. If you're like right above her, yeah, like at a weird like 45 degree angle kind of thing. Right, kind of like Rob there in a lot of ways. Oh, but he's living. Yeah, not the strongest uh, spike in the game. That up smash is in contention for one of the strongest in the game, though. Yeah, it's not the strongest spike in the game, but it is one of the flashiest on account of the fact that you fall with them. Yeah, like at exactly the same speed. I think like stolen fall air, uh, down airs with like the exception of ZSSs are like objectively bad, right? Like. Yeah, I I think that they're 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 so bad that they're good. In yeah, because because like people don't expect you to just throw it out. Yeah, and it also provides like a mix up because it does stop you in the air for a second. So like it does like it allows you to kind of microspace certain novel situations in the air. Definitely. But yeah. you have to you have to use them responsibly. Yeah, I mean, don't don't stall and fall and drive, kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man, definitely don't drive after eating a uh, dragon laser in the face. Yeah, that's. You should probably see a doctor about that instead of driving. But that's you know. Okay. If the jab. Oh, one. that's a lot of damage on that ledge. If you were a loved one that's been affected by a dragon laser, <laughs> <laughs> you may be you may be viable for uh, financial compensation. All right. ZD just swinging his way through this now. We've actually seen a couple of clanks through the hitboxes there. Ooh, good parry that, there. On maybe that's the way there. to beat the uh, the Min Min. It's just just smack the arms out of the air. Just kick them out of the way. Yeah, there's definitely also a lot of, like, keeping Min Min in disadvantage. Like, once you get her in disadvantage, she needs to stay there if you want to have any chance of beating her. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that go. was clean! I think the speed of Fox, uh, definitely a strong reason why the, like, the pace of this set has gone in ZD's fa favor. Imagine a world. Mm. You're in disadvantage. You're drifting back. You're close to a platform, but you're not, like, super close. You see them jump. You're like, okay, they're probably going to the platform, you know, or they're going to double jump their area. You're not, you're, you're planning for that option. Yeah. And the empty land, an up smash, is a frame like what six up smash, and you just die. Yeah. You just blow up. I don't even think you know you're dead until after it happens. And he's so fast. He can just do that from like the opposite side of stage. Like, you, you might not even have time to react to the fact that he's coming towards you because he's just like, boop, I'm there. Up smash, yep. you're dead. <laughs> Yeah, that's just 
you just don't get to react. Yeah. Now we're going on to FD here, and this is Pink Fresh's counter pick now. So this makes more sense to me. Pink yeah. Fresh wanting to be on FD. I don't think there's there's ever like any question as to where you want to be uh, in this matchup. You had to though. You, you go any higher, you're still dying, right? I mean. Look, I've seen ZD pull off some insane angles, so I like. I guess maybe my expectations of him are way too high. He definitely could have gone straight to ledge there. I, f I feel like if there was an answer, it was drift a little lower before the up B and, and give yourself that little bit of angle. But like there, there were uh, th there weren't a whole lot of options there. Oh, but parry up smash always a good option though, especially out of a parry, and then just throw another <laughs> one on neutral get up. See what I mean? Always a good option. Forward air out of shield. Interesting. <laughs> Not really an option I'm used to seeing from Foxes. Can't it's reflect it. Surprisingly effective against characters that are going to jump a lot. True. I know, because I've been on, on the receiving end of that, because I <laughs> jump a lot. Ooh, man, these up airs from ZD so good at just keeping Min Min at bay. Yeah, and the parries are honestly kind of the story of this match, right? Yeah, absolutely. ZD, it, I swear... Because, like, he had some parries with Wolf, right? Right. The second he switched to Fox, so many more parries. Well, and there's, I think there's two there's two sides to that story, right? Yeah. One, obviously, he's on a character that, comfort. you know, yeah, the comfort of the character. He's a little more comfortable in Fox in general, I, I believe, anyways. Uh, but two, also, Fox is a character with a whole lot less recovery on everything. A whole lot less downtime that you can get that shield out to throw those parries out after, after hitting a button. That is true. And Fox also gets a lot off of parries, so I feel like... Uh, Perry is very important in this game. Play. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> down air, sure, whatever. Oh, it's not quite far enough. The whip grabbed the other direction, though. We got a little bit of spaghetti Ooh. on deck here, but it's on both sides simultaneously, so no one has died for it. <laughs> and thank God, because either of them could have died for those misplays at this particular percent. Oh, the down smash not oh, quite quick no. enough. This could be it. Lasers on deck. Oh no, oh. he jumped right into it, unfortunately. What? No oh. way. He's still alive. What? Did... Wait. That was an interesting decision. Was he? Like, I'm trying to wrap my head around what just happened. Does he? He? Was he trying to side B? And he accidentally up B? Here's here's the thing. It could have been a GG go next situation there. I can't. I, I, I can't believe that he would go to a GG go next when he was very clearly going to recover no problem. I, I feel like in, from that position, there's like a 95% chance that Min Min just kills him like off of that. Maybe. But I still am like, go for the I, 5%. Yeah, like, you gotta, exactly. Like, like, I'm, I'm going to call that one a mistake. That's I, still I, a 1 I, in 20. I'm going to call that a misinput. I'm not, I, I, I don't, I refuse to believe that he gave up in that The only reason point. I think that is because I didn't see a, a reaction from ZD at all. I yeah. feel like if that had been a misinput, there would have been like some kind of like, you know, like some kind of surprise there. Maybe, yeah. But maybe, you know, I mean, ZD plays against Pink Fresh a lot. If anybody, if anybody could say that that was like a guaranteed losing situation. Fair enough. It yeah, would be yeah. him. He's just like, yeah, you know what? I'm not making back from this. I'm just going to cut my losses. But then why go back to FD? Wait, yeah, this is ZD's counter pick. What are you doing? I mean, it was a close game, but there's got to be better stages you go to. No, surely, like. Maybe, I mean, but it could be the grind arc, right? It could be like, you know what? Let, let's just get the <laughs> rep in here, because someone's gonna counter pick you to this stage with this character. So like, I need to be and able to I, win I that set ready, regardless. Yeah. No, that's fair. Is ZD or not ZD? Is Fox good on FD though? I guess so. I guess Fox is one of those characters that feels probably just pretty good on any stage. Yeah. I think it's just more like, you know, like in this, if, let's say you're playing this matchup in a, in a major, right? Like this is where they're going to counterpick you. Yeah, fair enough. If you have to ban two other stages. Ooh! Forward smash catching the. This, this match is. This is a slobber yeah. <laughs> Minute and a half in, and both both players are on their last stock already. We're still talking about the stage choice. <laughs> True, yeah. We're down to the last, uh... Good air dodge through that grab. Oh, and ZD needs this to keep the set alive, right? Well, yeah, I mean, it's either he wins and it's a reset, or he loses and it's over. He'll miss out on those $25. Yeah, hey, man! <laughs> That's a Denny's meal. True. Woo! 
Just so carefully, like, moving in and just staying just outside of, like, grab range, outside of... Oh. Oh, man. That neutral air, the rising neutral air is such a strong tool to just keep min min off stage there. This is, this is the patient game five ZD versus Krishan ZD that we're seeing right now. Yeah. Oh, man, but that megawatt is so strong. Might be able to close out the stock in just one more hit. Oh, that but, was uh, it. Yeah. The up smash punish with the up smash, and that is going to be a bracket reset. Going into our final set of the evening. Yeah, one more. Best of five here to decide who walks away with first place. We're we getting game 10. What's the we, over, we what's very, the over under in a game 10? We very well might. Yeah. We very well. What's might. the over under in a game 10 right now? <laughs> oh. It's, 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 it's got to be at least a coin flip, right? Yeah. Knowing these guys, they're just always at each other, right? Like, it's like. Somebody will win game one, then the other player will make an adaptation, wins game, win games two and three. Right. Then the first player will game, win game four, and it's like, all right, it's down to this. Who adapted better? <laughs> Always a very back and forth set between the two. The lasers, a little bit of extra damage, because you're not going off stage there. So. Optimal. Optimal. Take my 2%, thank you. Now my up smash will just kill that much more convincingly. <laughs> right, yeah, exactly, exactly. It's all about finessing to that optimal kill percent, right? Yeah. So you need the empty Ooh. hop in. I can't tell the difference between Min Min's up smash and up tilt. I'm being... What is happening? Another miss on the ledge. ZD! That is painful. On the first game of the bracket reset, that's painful. And definitely not the start that you want to this oh. comeback. And he's dead. Oh, he's, uh, gone. No, he's fine. He's fine. Yeah. Is he? Well, not after getting <laughs> hit again, but he was making that back. <laughs> Woo. Oh, no. The shock. Oh, my God. Pink fresh, okay. please. <laughs> he has family, probably. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Maybe I I've don't never know. seen them, but I assume they <laughs> exist. <laughs> oh, oh my God! God. Oh, oh, oh. Roar, brother! <laughs> Jesus! You ever just like light speed dashed into a full dragon laser? Just, oh. <laughs> Have you ever stared the devil in the eyes <laughs> as he spit a laser at you? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> No way! Is you have a dance with the devil in the bathroom? That Something was like that. crunchy. Like, <laughs> just, I could feel that. I'm gonna in do my, my side bones. B recovery move. Uh, what's that? Three, All right, game two. two. Yeah, the the uh, the up B missing ledge uh, a couple of times here has, has been certainly a, a factor in these yeah. matches. I think much more of a factor than I'd expect it to be. Like it's happened like three times now. Yeah, uh, but certainly still anyone set. Oh yeah, that was only game one. At the end of the day, it's just not the start that you want to see for a bracket reset. I will never get tired of seeing that landing bear to up smash connect. Like that's such a clean looking combo. That's funny because uh, I have like the same issue with late dash attack. The fact that late dash attack comes into anything, yeah, it disgusts me and I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> like every time I see ZD hit like late dash attack up smash, late dash attack backer, I'm like, why? Yeah. <laughs> dash no, attack should not be comboing into everything. <laughs> it's crazy. You know, it's it's, it's a, you know it's a time honored uh, technique from our ancient ancestors in the regular fighting game community called a meaty. A what? A meaty. Nice. When oh, uh, your hit hits late because they're still on wake up, and that gives you more frame advantage. Interesting. Okay. I, I know that because my grandfather played Street Fighter. Wait, um, actually? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, am, I am just being. I was about to say that'd be, that'd be cool as hell. <laughs> yeah, my grandpa was like world champion uh, Akuma, Street Fighter Two oh, yeah. Turbo. Hey, you know, you've seen uh, you know, Evo Moment 37 or whatever it is. Yeah, that was him. Daigo Umatar is my <laughs> grandpa. <laughs> Ooh, good read on that jump from ledge. I'm going to get caught with a Mega Watch, but going to get caught with an up smash as well. One stock lead for Jasmine. That up smash is just so terrifying because, like, doesn't even matter what option you pick. If you pick wrong on ledge, you died up smash. Like, definitely, yeah. I mean, it's just 
It's such a quick option, such a strong option. There's really, like, yeah. unless you somehow manage to avoid it and space around it, you're just dead. Yeah, you can't see it coming. It's just a game of rock, paper, scissors. It's a game of rock, paper, scissors with a gun to your head. <laughs> like, it's rock, paper, uh, metal boots. Right, yeah. Oh, okay. I like the double smash attack there. Waiting on ledge, giving a little time, letting ZD play around in the airspace a little bit. Pink Fresh feeling out the approach. He just the oddest dash attack in. Oh, wait, hold on. So there's a thing. Does that kill? Yes, it does. Wow, okay. That's a pretty good up smash. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty good. There was, a, there was a thing going around on Twitter like a couple months ago at this point, and I'm, I'm just now vaguely remembering it, where if you parry moves that are considered disconnected. Like I don't, I don't remember what exactly the criteria was, um, but like things like Mario's forward smash, certain projectiles, stuff like that. I think disjoints is what it, what it like boils down to. Okay. It like gives you more advantage. I wonder if that applies to Min Min's arms, because he definitely like parried something max range and had time to run in and punish it. So I don't believe the arms do, if I remember correctly, um, but the laser might. I could be wrong though. That is that is or, an edge case mechanic that I'm, I'm not super confident in my knowledge of. Yeah, or maybe the what you call it, the ram ram like after it's off the hook kind of thing. Yeah, I believe it's something that affects um, mostly projectiles. Yeah, um, but like I like I know for a fact I remember that like Mario's forward smash was an example. Yes, because it has a it's a it's a weird kind of a disjoint. Yeah, it, swords will still take that you know that same thing with the uh, it, it almost creates a projectile. It's not a projectile if yeah. that makes sense. Oh, yeah. It's not exactly the right way to put it though. Yeah, yeah. definitely I one of the many edge case mechanics of Smash Brothers. Mm. Oh, there is a world where that late dash attack does uh does does come back to bite you. At low percent, at low percent, it doesn't always combo into anything, especially because like, it's like probably negative on hit, honestly, at low percent. Yeah, and on shield, mm, yeah, not so great. Okay, waiting at the up smash too. ZD just trying to inhabit the airspace. Foxes Single are. Yeah. <laughs> Foxes are an aging creature in the Smash Brothers universe. Oh, what? Actually, an avian, you know, airborne. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Oh man, um, this is a rough position to be no. in. Another Ram Ram. Yeah, that's yeah, it. This is just no way back now. Right? Oh, well, he still had side beam. Oh, yeah. he did make it. Okay. All right. Alive. Mega wide. <laughs> but immediately long? sent back off stage. And the up B the immediately up sent back off stage. Still not killing. Ooh. Oh, a little late on that Nair, though. That gives you a chance. He's back on stage. But the Mega Watt will finally close out that stock. 111, though. I mean, he took a lot more damage than he should have that stock. Yeah, for sure. That looked like it was closed out a lot earlier than it actually was. Yeah, there hey. it is. Missed attack against ZD, and he can smell it in the water. I Asking swear. Asking for the, uh, the down smash, too, instead of the up smash. It's a couple extra style points. Yeah, probably also, like, it's just it's quicker. Uh, I, I don't scale my up smash. It'll kill. Why, why waste the up smash? Keep that fresh. Pink fresh. <laughs> Hey, there we go. <laughs> oh, the dash and grab. All right. Pink Fresh's uh, defenses are starting to wane here a little bit, it feels Just like. Just a little bit, yeah. It definitely feels like ZD found a, a chink in the armor, if you will. He, Pink Fresh needs just one opening, though. That's the scary part. Like That really is all it comes down to. Megawatt already out to play. Ooh. Okay. The, going for the grab there. The back there definitely would have put ZD in an awful situation. Down Ooh. smash. He went for it all and he oh, missed! He, he, he went for bet it all and he all. missed! He bet it all on black and he lost his life savings! I love the the weapon switching that went on at that, yeah. that last sequence. So there Agreed. was always like that. As soon as ZD was far enough away, Megawatt came out. And as soon as ZD got, there was like an invisible line between them. As soon as ZD was across that line, bam, it's back to the Ram Ram. Back to that quick nair. Yeah. Man. How do Double you? down was like a month ago, Pink Fresh. Why'd you gamble like that? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Like that's that, that's for the slots, man. <laughs> for the roulette tables. Two, one, go. <laughs> you bet it all on evens and you, you roll it down. Yeah. All right. Well, regardless of why that this has gotten to this point, we are now at a game four. 
ZD finally showing some signs of life there towards the end of that last game. And we're still on FD, which, I mean, now Baffling. it is Pink Fresh's counter pick, so yeah. it does make sense in that sense, but I, I'm just surprised that we've what seen all those falls. Because, like, I, again, I would ban this stage. Given how fast they've gotten back into the game each time, I'm not even sure they're talking about yeah, it. Yeah, they're probably I, just running it back. They, they probably played each other enough, they're like, ah, we're, you know, we know where we're going. They're reverting back to the ways of being a kid and discovering competitive play for the first time. All FD, right. no items, Fox only. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh. That the way that Megawatt falls on you like that with that aerial is so mean too, because you can't even jump out to escape. So you're just like you're guaranteed taking that on the shield. Yeah, Min Min's aerials have like that very unique property where they kinda like move down with you as you're falling. In a way that like Belmont's wish they did, right? Uh-huh. Like Can you imagine if Belmont aerials did that? Don't even get me started. You would not even be able to approach them. They don't linger enough for it to happen, I think is like the real reason. Because right. uh, Min Min's aerials stay out for quite a while. Exactly. Very true to the game too. Like I like I didn't play much arm, but I remember like seeing the way that like the arms travel through Jesus oh my Christ. Just lay dash attack. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and and just slowly broke down the defenses there. I mean just like the respect for everything. Yeah, definitely. You're just waiting for that one misstep. That's, that's the kind of mentality, though. That's the kind of, like, whoo, play you have to have as a Fox player. You've yeah, got to be able to just, like, slowly break someone apart. You may not be actually getting hits on them, but you are, you know, forcing options, forcing options, maybe getting a frame or two's worth of advantage each time, and then, like, once they make that one misstep, you have to know it's coming and, and be right there with that up smash. Yeah, definitely. Oh, that oh. megawatt forward air is going to be enough to close out the stock, but 76% already on Pink Fresh's last stock. Can ZD close this game out and bring us to a game 10? Or will Pink Fresh find a way to close out the stock early? Which is certainly possible with Min Min. I mean, look, 43 for damage off of like two interactions. Okay, all right, all right. Get up a lot of space there. ZD is just... ZD is struggling to find a way in, but he found it with that down air. Neutral air to send off stage. What is he going to do here? Go up air off the ledge from Pink Oh, Fresh. no. He was looking for that Nair up smash one more time there on the ledge. <laughs> He's fishing for it. it. Oh! Woo! It was delayed there, and it connected a little too high. What to, a to combo to the up smash, awesome. and just Returning without even a, without even thinking about it, he, converted to the back air instead. He read the, like, the heck out of Pink Fresh's soul with that jump there. Jesus. Yeah, they are running it straight back to FD every time. We got a game what 10! Is, Woo! What is the deal with this arm? This uh, I found it on that table. I thought it was funny, so I brought it over It is over funny, here. actually. I, I, did, I just noticed it was there, but it's that's very, very funny. <laughs> it's just a mannequin's <laughs> arm. All right, game 10. Game 10. 10 Final destination has been the stage of every single game this set, I think. Yes. Denny's money is on the line. <laughs> a viral tweet is on the line. <laughs> <laughs> you just post a picture of your prize money envelope that says Lamau and you will get millions of likes. All right. <laughs> 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 okay. I love you, h -Bots. I'm sorry. <laughs> mm. Landing with that dragon neutral air, sending away with oh, a down smash. Chase. I, I think ZD is winning this. I, like, I gotta say it. I think ZD is playing out of his mind right now. You know what? I feel like on multiple occasions today, I bet on ZD making the recovery and, and like running it back, and he oh. did. And I feel like if I do it again, my luck's gonna run out. I, I got, <laughs> You're just gonna keep your mouth shut? <laughs> yeah. Oh you my god, he just landed in front of that and said, hit me. <laughs> and he did. <laughs> You sometimes you get sometimes you gotta dare them to do it, man. You gotta see if they got if they have it in them. Do, they, <laughs> do you, you have, have the, guts? the balls? <laughs> do you have what it takes? Oh, oh, combo, you, oh you do. <laughs> My bad. Well, then. I right. will be more respectful next yeah. time. <laughs> see you next time. See the on ledge now. Air dodge not gonna get him in. Laser gonna establish quite a bit more distance, but. And still uh, largely a boxing Woo! game. You cannot reflect those, unfortunately. He can make that back, and oh, Pink Fresh Pink cannot. Fresh. 
A second SD in this set, unfortunately, going way too deep for those edge guards. Dexter is not here tonight, but his presence is felt. <laughs> oh, shout out to Dexter. Woo! Oh, Smash, not quite gonna kill those. ED's still alive. You know Pink Fresh wants to get this back, man. You gotta even this back up after that. Absolutely. You had a, uh, a pretty reasonable lead, and it's all slipping away. Oh, we're just a landing up air. And oh, another, another one, one to close out. I don't think I've ever seen we have not Min -min's seen that. Skill. We've seen nine and nine and three quarters games. We haven't seen that one yet. <laughs> that's uh, that's oh, a new man. one. I bet on ZD, but this is starting to look kind of rough here. Pinkfresh, after that unfortunate SD, kind of hunkered down and put it, got his head in the game. Yeah. Okay, I'll smash. He's gonna alleviate that pressure. ZD maybe it's getting a little too unga bunga on yeah, shield. Yeah, this, this is looking rough. This is looking really rough for ZD right now. This is traditionally where ZD dies, right here off stage. But okay, Ooh, able to make it back. Uh, Pinkfresh did not have the Ram Ram equipped in that circumstance. Yeah, you can see the moment where Pinkfresh thought twice about going off stage. Like, Wait a second. Can you pick that up? Yeah. That know? is so unfortunate. You know? That's so unfortunate. Because he was trying to neutral get up through the first arm and he just got caught by the second one. <laughs> Man, and despite a 10 <laughs> game set. Oh, that's such a heartbreaker for ZD. Fighting so hard to get the bracket reset. Mm. Fighting so hard. He was down 2 0 in the reset. Getting the game five and just falling short. Yeah. Neutral get upping into that mega one. Even that little bit of hope coming back on the SD too. Like you have to think yeah. in that moment, ZD was like, "Yes, this is this is the moment. This is the time." <laughs> and then he started getting hit. He's like, "Wait, wait <laughs> hold on, what's happening? <laughs> wait, 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 wait! No, 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 no!" <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Wow, but fantastic you know, stuff from Big Fresh though. I like I could see him like the moment he SD'd, he likes. He put his head down. He was like, I'm going to win this. Yeah. And, and you know, any set that goes game 10. Is a good set. That's a good set. Yeah, I it's agree. That's a good set. I, I got Unless it went to timer there. every game. And then get me out. <laughs> oh, please don't. Don't speak it okay. into existence with the popularity but of Steve coming that up. That timeout tonight. That, no, that was a good timeout. Easily the hypest moment That, that was a good like timeout. That, if you're going to clip anything tonight, it was that timeout <laughs> right there. That was, that was magic. Last hit, last stock timeouts are hype. Wolf timing out Pac-Man. <laughs> timing out Pac-Man is pretty hard. Um, Ooh, but I do think that that does it for us tonight. I, I believe we are fresh out of Smash Brothers. Fresh out of Super Smash Brothers Ultimate for the Nintendo Switch. But uh, we will be back again uh, Tuesday. I won't, the but yeah. Well, yeah <laughs> the stream will yeah, be. Yeah. Maybe not us two in particular. Um, and, you know, Friday, we may be back. I'll, I might be back here as Friday as well. So. Yeah. Sounds good. Definitely be around for that. But for tonight, that is unfortunately all we have for you. Well, it has been a pleasure, Consort. Where can they find you? You can find me on Twitch at Consort. Or I'm sorry, Twitter at Consort Gaming. I always get those two confused when I'm talking. I don't know why. Right there. And you can find me at Beck0398 on Twitter. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in tonight. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend.